Hi, this is Dr. Ray Bailey. Today we are reviewing your antibody test to the COVID-19 virus. And there's six mutations. Uh, this test is 96% accurate and 100% specific to the COVID-19. Other tests are not. This one happens to be the test that I chose because of that specific character to this test that it is 100% specific for COVID-19. So there's four case, possible case scenarios. Uh, we look at IgM and IgG as these molecules, and I'll explain these as we go. But there's going to be a double negative, an IgM negative and an IgG negative. There's going to be a positive IgM negative, po excuse me, an I positive IgM or ne negative IgG. There's going to be a positive positive IgM and IgG. And there's going to be a negative IgM and a positive IgG. So as you can see, um, on this x-axis is time. Uh, the y-axis is the amount of antibodies. So this red line represents the IgM molecule. And you can see that after about, oh, four to six days, these, this antibody begins to rise in the blood. And this is your first antibody that's elevated in the bloodstream and it's a smaller molecule it does its thing but it also it kind of ties up the virus and gets the immune cells starting to uh, infiltrate the areas of the infection now the igg molecule then uh, this is a bigger molecule so it takes longer to build in the body so it's a little slower on getting to the scene but this one here begins at about six to eight days and it begins to rise and you'll get you'll get notable blood levels of both of these uh, during this parallel time between somewhere between a week and two and a half weeks and then they both peak almost about the same time in about three weeks. So <clears throat> what are your test results? What do they look like? If you have a negative IgM and a negative IgG, that means that your body has not been exposed enough to this virus to mount an immune response. Now if you have symptoms coming in that are similar to the uh, SARS-2 COVID-19 symptomology, then you most likely are in the very beginning phases of this. And the second case scenario is a positive IgM and a negative IgG. Now this means that, you know, you're just in the short window here. You know, you're, 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 you're mounted a, a higher amount of IgM molecules and the IgGs are just slower to come to the picture. So you're not quite there yet with a full response. Now this means that your body's about to get there, so you're going to need to learn how to support your immune system intensely. This is when you give this healthcare at the highest level of your, of your knowledge. If you need some tips on that, then you can contact our office and we'll be happy to share this information with you on how to support your immunity. And the next case scenario then is a positive IG M and a positive IgG. Now this means, as you can see on the chart here, that they're peaked up high, and they last. This 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 fight usually lasts. And this connection usually lasts for about three to four weeks. And during that time, your body is using everything it can to support the immune system and and to eliminate the viral spread, as well as the results of the damage of the virus. So you have all of your immune cells jumping in on the game, and they are trying to cipher everything out, and there is going to be an elevated toxic load during this time to the nth degree. The last case scenario then would be the IgM negative and the IgG positive. Now this is what most people really want to know. They want to know if they've had it and they've mounted an immune response, and it looks as if this immune response is going to be permanent immunity until we know differently. So those are the four case scenarios. Yeah. <clears throat> Whether you're in the beginning of the throes or you've had an immune response, you've only had that immune response recently because we know that this virus actually entered our country uh, somewhere in December to January to begin, this, begin the infection. So your body, what that means is your body's going to be very, very toxic. Uh, viruses are very toxic. They have the elements of toxicity within them and our body's trying to clear them out. So if you are not a very good detoxifier or you don't know how, it's a really good time to learn how to do that. So once again, our staff, my staff is you know, on board with uh, 
communication, and I can teach you how to do that as well. How to detoxify, and it's going to take you about three to four weeks to detoxify from the effects of this virus. Well, I hope this has been helpful. I will get your specific results, and then we'll share them uh, with this video. Thank you for listening, and I hope you are uh, positive uh, IgG and negative IgM, or you haven't had it yet, and you get to have a little journey with it. Anyway, we're all in this together, and I am grateful for the opportunity to share this information for you and with you.